Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. An eight and a half billion dollar project is transforming several terminals and brings the promise of more space, amenities, and options for travelers. And WGN's Ben Bradley gives us an exclusive look at progress on the first terminal undergoing a facelift. It'll be different, don't you think? The view from the top shows a massive transformation taking flight at O'Hare. We have roofers here working from the actual west wing, working their way towards the center. Now arriving, the expansion of what for nearly three decades has been the International Terminal. In September, it'll become home to Delta and its partners for a mix of domestic and overseas flights. We have concourse space on the left and then open seating on the right-hand side. Rob Hoxie is running the project for the Chicago Department of Aviation and is our tour guide. All the seats will have uh, power for charging devices. Um, the gate hold rooms are open to one another, so if the plane's full, um, people can spread out into empty and adjacent gate areas uh, seamlessly. So it'll feel quite a bit different from existing facilities. The new wing of the terminal includes a massive open hall that'll be home to restaurants and shops along with gates. We can head out that way. Gate capacity is also increasing by 25% and the terminal will be home to a new airline lounge with unbeatable views. One thing you can't help but notice is all the windows. How do you keep it from getting too hot? This is some new technology. These are electromic glass window panes, which actually have a low voltage electrical current, and they allow them to tint. The inside and outside are futuristic, and they're part of a bigger plan. O'Hare's runways have been reconfigured and expanded in recent years to cut down on weather and air traffic delays. The next phase will include a new international terminal between United and Americans terminals, and eventually satellite terminals. We've now made significant investments in the airfield. Uh, we've eliminated a lot of the bottleneck delays, the difference between good weather and bad weather, uh, airport capacity, and now our focus is on modernizing and expanding our terminal facilities. Um, not just to be able to park the aircraft, but also deliver the types of amenities that a modern airport um, should deliver. The challenge for this project has been to keep the existing terminal open and operational for passengers, while at the same time, just behind the drywall, a huge terminal expansion is underway. We're operating the terminal 24 hours a day, seven days a week, while adding 350,000 square feet, 10 new gates, etc. Uh, it's complicated. It's a construction ballet that leaves even veteran airport builders looking forward to watching passengers fly through their creation. Every project I've ever worked on, whether it's airport or whatever, there's nothing like just being somebody blending in and watching what your fruits have produced. Roughly half the people who fly into O'Hare never actually leave the airport. They are connecting passengers, many of whom will benefit from not having to take a plane only to ride a bus or train between terminals. Flyers will start to have access to new gates in Terminal 5 in April, with the full terminal expected to open late next year. And then construction of the new global terminal will begin. Ben Bradley, WG.